So I'm really, to begin, I'd like to introduce Chris Heath, um, a farmer from Warwickshire. You've just, well, you've had uh, the Missouri demoed um, in previous seasons, but yep. you've uh, took the plunge and brought a, a four metre for this spring. Yeah. Um, could you just give me a bit of background on the farm itself and uh, um, soil types and that kind of thing? I suppose we've been farming, farming around this area since 1940. Uh, four generations in the farm working on it. Um, we can vary from, like you said, sand at Morton back to heavy clay and loam. Uh, some of it is very difficult, lots of small fields and lots of headlands. Mm. But, um, yeah, it's just we've always been quite ar big and arable. Yeah. Um, and you've sort of farmed fairly conventionally. Um, you know, yeah. until now really, with the plough still we've, the system. The plough has still played a big part in our farm. We've um, tried going to min till rig, and that's worked quite well over the years. Um, and as corn prices have dropped and fuel prices have risen over the last few months, I know it's dropped back now, but we've tried to look to minimising machinery costs and labour costs and try and keep fuel consumption down really. Yeah, all these areas are coming under pressure and yeah, and obviously, yeah low, low corn prices as well not helping. Absolutely. And it's, obviously everyone's got a version of heavy soil but Warwickshire's pretty yeah. famed for some strong ground and obviously it, this itself well, is... We, we tri trialled the Missouri over the last three years. We weren't really sure whether it would work on our farm or not. It's been sort of a big plunge into the dark but it's really worked for us this spring um the front legs like we have managed to get them in the ground um generally four four to five inches on our heavy clay which we needed to do to get some of the compaction out the rain's done over the winter mm. and then um, put the here on this spring barley we put 100 kilos of owls on down the front legs yep. um, which is giving it a really good head start um, then you got the wheels that follow the front legs um, and they really firmed it back down to give it to conserve the moisture and create a nice tillage to drill into. Yeah. That's been critical this time because well it's, the field almost looks yeah. like July the way it's cracking up at the moment so getting that it's, moisture and retaining it. Yeah. yeah obviously you went from one extreme to the other this we, time. But. We have you can see from the cracks are starting to open up now but my hope is the rows are just starting to fill in they'll, they'll conserve what's left there. Yeah well you've got some fantastic tillering here and it's really shown the yeah. benefit of yeah it's, conserving the moisture but also that place of yeah. fertiliser to um, get the plant going and this particular field was winter wheat in the autumn. Um, we did cultivate it because we didn't know we were going to go down the Missouri route. It was cultivated with a top down and pressed. But then it, we had all that rain in the winter and it has just slumped it all down tight. Yeah, it, and it, it probably almost in worse shape for having lost its structure yeah. for the cultivation probably. So, so again, we've probably gone deeper with the front legs on the Missouri than than uh, Missouri would advise but for us it's actually worked on our ground yeah. it's lifted the compaction out yeah it's a good starting point isn't it and what? as you say when the soil hopefully changes structure over the years and adapts it will since the end quiet. since the end of September we've had over a meter of rain here which has actually it's just compacted the ground mm. down yeah nice. so to turn around and have good crops it's quite a good feel, feel good factor, really. Absolutely. No, well, they look a credit to you, Chris. Uh, as I say, tillering well and really yep. making the most of this good weather. So we'll see if we can find some of the. We dig down and see what the roots structure is like. So if we pull this up, we have still got good moisture. Good moisture content there. And if we break some of it apart, you can see all the fibrous roots. Even though it's quite solid, the root structures have gone down. We put a kilo and a half of slug pellets on down with the seed. Um, and 
we can see in the field or two where we didn't put any slug pellets down, we had grazing on it. Yeah. So it's been a big bonus to have the slug pellets on the drill. Yeah, so that low, well, that's really quite a low rate, but yeah. it's targeted then. And but it is targeted up with the strip till drilling. Everything is precise. No need to waste it between the rows mm. when you can put it down with the seed. And yeah. And that's certainly something we found, you know, with the fertilizer as well. It's it's where the plant is growing, where yeah. the roots are accessing. It's not feeding, you know, the uncultivated ground and where the weeds are potentially growing. And that, so. that is something we will be looking to next year, whether we'll trial it. I'm not sure. Is to put in the full quantity of fertilizer down the front legs. I think this season has really proved it with it being dry. Yeah. We should have put up all the fertilizer down the front legs, but. It's still a learning curve for us. Yeah. We're only six months into owning the drill. Yeah. Well, not even six months quite, but... We, it's, um, and in terms of, well, we've seen this time, you know, we've not had any rain in May. It was, I think it was about three weeks, it's the 20th of May today. It's going to be 26 degrees later and, you know, it's pretty harsh out here. Yeah, it's, without the rainfall, you know, if we'd have put, you know, granular fertiliser on it, it would still be sat on the surface. Yeah. So at least it's it's into moisture and it's you know be made available also these this farm here particularly is a lot of small fields and with the conventional drills we always seem to get wheeling on the headlands and very poor crops around headlands yeah. if as when you put the drone around in a minute you'll see we got corner to corner crop on the fields. As you say, that's so critical, especially with small yeah. fields where it's a big percentage of the, the field itself, isn't it? Yeah. The so. I look forward to the harvest really, to see where the yields are going to come out. I think we'll see an increase in the yield from having a co corner to corner crop on the fields. Mm.